Good day, this is Kelly Hardy. I am Director of Education Solutions at Color Art, and welcome to our first of many Color Art Close-Ups with Dr. Robert Dillon. Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Kelly, it's great to be here. It's great to partner with Color Art, and really just great to be able to share some of the great things about learning space design that are happening around the region. This video series is designed to look at issues surrounding school design that can support learning in all classrooms. In our first episode, we're gonna look at what we can control. Pandemic learning has been an incredible challenge that has disrupted how we design classrooms. It has forced us to retreat from some designs that are optimal to maximize health and safety. It has also forced us to rethink the concept of the classroom. So Bob, what are some of the strategies that teachers are employing to optimize their classrooms today? Yeah, even during this pandemic time, I've been really impressed with teachers. They're doing what they have to to take care of kids. But one of the things that teachers are saying is like, hey, my desks have to be six feet apart. I have to make sure I'm meeting all the guidelines. But one of the things I can control is what I do with the walls of the classroom. So making sure there's not a lot of visual clutter, making sure the color scheme is right, and just making sure that they're very thoughtful and intentional about that piece. And then the last piece is that they're saying, if I have to make sure that my students have as much space as possible, I have to take some of my own space out of the equation. Okay, with that being said, with everything finding its place six feet apart, what designs are helping teachers and students? I think one thing teachers aren't forgetting about is that students can stand up, right? I, I think we have this thing that kids have to be in a desk, six foot apart, sitting down, but still we can move. We can stand behind our desk, we can sit on top of our desk, and I think that teachers are finding that that is keeping students engaged and their attention level. So I think it's really important to continue to not forget about movement while we're doing all this. Okay. And then finally, what are a few practical things that could support all classrooms? Yeah, we're always in a position where addition by subtraction works, right? Like if you've been in a classroom for two or three or four years, you have extra stuff. And then also reminding ourselves to ask kids what's working and what's not working. Uh, too often we get into a classroom, we think things are working, but we're forgetting to ask our students. So don't forget to ask students and start to take things away so that you're not just collecting things in a time and space where we need to have very few things in our classrooms. We want to thank Bob for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in our next episode.